In this week's Featured Bats, we're going to take a look at the work of the British cartographer Sidney Hall, who is well known and popular for his early 19th century atlases. He was born in 1788, and his work as an engraver and cartographer included maps of the United Kingdom and of the ancient world. As a map maker and engraver, he was active in London from about 1810 until around 1850, according to directory records. Sidney Hall contributed to two British county atlases, Samuel Lee's new picture and in 1831 a topographical dictionary of Great Britain and Ireland by John Gorton. This appeared with 54 maps engraved by Hall. Each of these English county maps are very attractive and highly detailed. They show county name and boundary, hundreds, parks, trunk roads, a mileage scale and the figures prefixed to the towns denotes the distance from London. But Sidney Hall is not the secret map maker mentioned earlier. Based on the record of his work, it was thought that Sidney Hall had been around until 1851. His name appeared in London Street directories at the time. But Sidney Hall actually died 20 years earlier in February 1831. His wife Selina Hall is our secret map maker. Sidney Hall was producing maps for John Gorton's topographical dictionary published in 1831-32. The maps appeared dated monthly in alphabetical order, and you can see examples of Sidney Hall's signature here. When you get to the map of Rutlandshire, published in September 1831, the signature changes to simply S. Hall. It appears that Selina Hall, Sidney's wife, who was a competent engraver, simply carried on the work and did so for the next 20 years until her death in 1853. Selina successfully letting the rest of the world believe that S. Hall was Sidney Hall, not Selina. The maps shown here are from John Gorton's Topographical Dictionary, an interesting collection of pocket-sized maps. Hello my friends, I'm Professor Hans von Puppet, and I want to share a little secret. Many people collect old antique maps and rare prints. They love them, they really love them. Maybe you love them too, but there is a big problem. Where are they? Where are they hiding? Where do you find them? How can you find out more about them? The answer is right here. Rare Maps and Prints Review. You can start discovering antique maps, sea charts, road maps, town plans, world maps, and then there are the fantastic prints. Botanical, humorous, topographical, natural history, you know, birds and stuff. It's all right here. So go tell your friends Rare Maps and Prints Review every week right here for you.